And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Jobaria, which was a request from Lindsay via Facebook, so thank you. It was a sauropod that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Niger, Africa. The type species is Jobaria tigwidensis, and it's named after Jobar, an African mythical giant beast. Some Tuaregs, semi-nomadic people from the area, believe that Jobaria's fossils were Jobar's bones. They thought this because its exposed bones were in plain view. The species name, Tigwidensis, refers to the cliff of Tigwidi, where the fossils were found. It was named by Paul Serino and others in 1999. Paul Serino had led a four-month expedition back in 1997 and found a mass death site in the Turian Formation of Niger. Multiple specimens were found. Serino and his team reconstructed two, one that was about 60 feet an adult, and a 30-foot-long juvenile. Over 95% of Jobaria's skeleton is preserved. It's one of the most complete sauropods. So again, it's about 60 feet or 18 meters long, and it weighed about 22 tons. It was originally thought to live in the early Cretaceous, but the sediments where it was found were reinterpreted to be from the Middle Jurassic. It's a primitive sauropod. It had a simple backbone and tail compared to older North American sauropods like Diplodocus and Apatosaurus, which had complex vertebrae and whiplash tails. Jobaria is an example of a dinosaur that didn't change much over millions of years, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Some have classified it as a primitive macronarian, sauropods that were tall, like Camarasaurus and Brachiosaurus, but that's not for certain. It had a relatively short but flexible neck, 12 vertebrae, and it had spoon-shaped teeth. It could nip at smaller branches of trees. It may have been able to rear up on its hind legs based on Serino's comparison of the ratios of its humerus and femur circumferences with modern elephants. The weight distribution suggests its weight was supported by its rear limbs, like an elephant's, and elephants can rear up. So if it reared up, it could reach higher vegetation. It lived in the same time and place as the carnivore Afrovenator, which had long arms and could grab onto prey while biting into it, so maybe juvenile and subadults were that prey. 